All right, let's go ahead and get started on Password Keeper. Uh, so you'll need to, to start off and by grabbing the zip uh, and unzipping it and opening up in an Android Studio, sort of getting your, your basic setup done. Uh, you'll note the package name there um, because we're going to use it uh, in a minute, all right? because we're going to go over to Firebase and into our Firebase console, we're going to make a password keeper project, right? Uh, I have already done this in mine. So if you're, if you're in Firebase, if you're hanging out in the other one, you click up back up to the top level. Um, and then you'll you'll have one here again you're gonna create new project and then add yours there um, I'm gonna go into mine um, like so right and and just like that right uh, if it asks you so if, if you're gonna do add app um, add to the to the um, Android app it's gonna ask you for your um, for your uh, package name um, we're gonna use the shower one later but you don't need to add it in right now um, so go ahead and follow through those steps. Go ahead and, and download the, uh, the Google services.json file. Overwrite the one that's there, right? Um, and you'll be, you'll be good to go, right? Um, the other thing that you're gonna wanna do just to test out the basic app, um, we're certainly gonna be replacing this since um, we wanna authorize our users, but in the, in the beginning you can change it to, um, you can just change it to true true, okay? So you're gonna go into um, into database and into rules and uh, we'll just change this so that you get true and true like so all right so um, so that is it for the for the very beginning um, you might want to once you've done that if you've set up your rules you should be able to do some um, test the basic uh, CRUD operations and you should actually be able to save um, passwords on the back end uh, not a huge deal if you can't but but you really it should should be um, should be no problem with that so you can you can add and delete and edit some some different ones you can try out the swipe to delete and so on a um, little bit about the starting code um, if you glance through it you'll see that you should know most of everything that's there lots of UI kind of stuff here. Um, so we have login and password fragments um, using callbacks to communicate back and forth with the main activity. Um, there's a recycler view inside our password fragment. Um, let's see, and there's a basic, basic Firebase is all going on there um, using just a child event listener, kind of like we did with, with movie quotes. Uh, some other um, some other things that are there that may be worth exploring later for you. So, and we saw most of these in the introduction. Um, I want to demo it, but we got expandable entries in the recycler view with some animations. So cool stuff there. Um, recycler view, as we saw, um, you just swipe left or right to delete items. Uh, let's see. So we mentioned the the input met method editor. Okay, so like the um, sort of going on to the to the next item, um, the check at the, at the end there. And one other thing in the code, very briefly, is that the the uh, um, rather than having an inner class for the child event listener, um, the adapter actually implements the interface itself right uh, so we don't have the inner class and it just it just basically uh, if you look to see how it's set up there it makes it a little bit easier to remove the the listener um, if the app pauses okay not a huge deal just what Tyler chose to do um, and a good idea all right, all right. Uh, so you know you you look at that and you're like wow everything works right and we even have all the all the um, the firebase stuff working so why do we need anything more um, well, let's go back. What it, what is this? This is a password keeper app, and right now there is zero security on your passwords. So any user who logs in to your site is gonna get to see everyone else's passwords, right? So you log in, you see my passwords. I log in, I see yours. Not a good idea, right? Um, we don't want this at at all. So the the solution is is going to be, um, of course, um, to do to do login. Um, the structure that it's going to look like here, all right, is that um, we've kind of sandboxed some things uh, in setting it up. Uh, it's it's encapsulated pretty well, so all the code that we're going to write in today's lesson is going to be within main activity, and we use callbacks to do this. So let's let's talk about some of these things here. So main activity, um, we have an, an on create method, and it checks right away to see whether we are authenticated, right? So it's it's using a listener there. Um, for any change in auth status. Um, and if we're not authenticated, then it's gonna go onto our, um, onto our, to our login page right here. If we were authenticated, 
um, then it's just gonna it's just gonna bring us directly to our to our passwords, right? So it, it's gonna remember if we're still logged in, right? Until we sign out. Uh, so if we're not authenticated, we're gonna have three different options, right? Um, and we have we have sort of a, a log. If we click the the login button after typing in an email and password combination, then it's gonna sign in uh, with that email password combination. Uh, and of course, the other two buttons, if we click them. Um, then they're going to do um, Google login and Rosefire login, uh, respectively, right? So that's um, that's our whole whole idea, um, and they're going to do a little bit extra work, as you saw, like Rosefire login, um, that it was the that it was similar to um, uh, sim similar to Google, right? Except that uh, it actually brought up a little page where we had to type in our our information, right? Uh, and those are all, uh, all of these methods right here are part of an interface that's specified in the login page. Main activity is going to implement that interface, so we'll be implementing these methods right here in, um, in, a, in our main activity. The one other thing is that if we click the logout button, right, then, then we just have an on logout method here, and we do that, and again, that's, that's very, very straightforward um, for, us, for us to do. Okay. Uh, good. So we we essentially in our code we're gonna have four methods to write right here. Okay. These those that we see along with some other Google options and some check to see whether we're authenticated and so on. So that's the direction that we're going. Okay. Uh, but login of course is gonna start with rules and that's where we're going next in our next lesson. So see you back in a minute. Mm -hmm.